Hey guys, welcome back to Jikon Yetu. My name is Chef Les and I want to show you how to make this amazing dish of cola glazed pork chops with a side salad of apples and arugula. Let's try it. For our pork chops, we'll need to season this with a bit of salt. Make sure all sides are well seasoned. Just a bit because we'll still add a bit of oyster sauce later on, paprika which gives the pork an excellent smoky taste. Just want to drizzle a good, generous pinch of this. Paprika also helps with not just the flavor, but also the rich, beautiful color. Some black pepper. Again, make sure you season all sides of your pork chops or cutlets. For a bit of spice or that extra kick, you can add a bit of chili powder or cayenne pepper. This is totally optional for those who don't like spice, but because we'll be doing, we'll be finishing our pork with a rich, sweet glaze, then it comes in handy just to have a little bit of spice and a little bit of garlic paste. This is about a tablespoon. You just want to be generous with your garlic, making sure you rub all sides of your pork chops or pork cutlets with it. Look at how beautiful these look. Lastly, add olive gold and let it marinate for at least 15 minutes before we can grill our pork chops. Rub your oil generously on all sides and set this aside for at least 15 minutes to marinate. Our pork has been marinating for 15 minutes and what we want to do is bring our pan to heat. Drizzle some olive gold in, in your pan and sear your pork chops on both sides for four to five minutes. What we are looking for is a beautiful golden brown color. And you can see and smell all the spices and hear the sizzling simmer of the pork. Once your pork sears for two to three minutes on each side, just set it aside on a plate and we'll be ready to make the glaze. In the same pan, add some cumin seeds and allow this to toast for a few seconds. And then add finely chopped ginger to your toasting cumin seeds. Add two tablespoons of oyster sauce. And now add your American cola and let this reduce on low heat for at least five minutes. You want this to slowly simmer until the sugar caramelizes before adding in your pork for that beautiful rich glaze. Our glaze has been reducing for about five minutes now and it's time to add back our seared pork just so that it can completely cook through and coat in the nice rich glaze. I'm using American Cola so that I can really enhance the flavor of the pork by having a different twist to your regular honey glazed pork chops. For our salad, we have some mixed greens, a bit of arugula and some curly lettuce, but you can use your favorite kind of greens. And then I'll just toss in some tomatoes, onions, some colored peppers, apples and cucumbers. Once you have all your vegetables and fruits mixed in, just put this on the side. Season generously with pepper, salt, and then we'll make a quick dressing using some mustard. This is Dijon, but you can use any kind of mustard into a few tablespoons of honey. Give this a good mix. 
And then to finish off your dressing, add some olive gold. I had also pre-boiled some baby potatoes, which I'll season with salt and a good drizzle of olive gold to serve with our pork. Give your salad a good mix and then drizzle your dressing after mixing it in. Toss your salad well, making sure that the dressing coats all your vegetables well and serve with your American cola glazed pork chops. Who doesn't love a beautiful pork roast? This one has a nice caramelized glaze. It's scrumptious, it's juicy, it's melt in your mouth and you're complementing this with a nice side salad. At the same time, learning how to use a cola as an ingredient over and above complementing your dish with it. So try it, you'll love it.